Winter and spring so far have not been kind to Missouri roads. While the northern part of the state is dealing with historic flooding, other parts and other regions in our state are also dealing with the aftermath of snowfall. So all of this is actually making a big impact on Missouri roads. Missouri's Department of Transportation does have its work cut out for them and Southwest District Maintenance Engineer Darren Hamelink is here to tell us more about its efforts to repair some of the roads in Missouri. So let's just start out with how many roads so far have been repaired? Well, we, with we, potholes, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> well, statewide, we've repaired 400,000 potholes, and that's a lot. And but you think about the state of Missouri, we were the seventh largest uh, infrastructure in terms of roadway miles in the in the nation. So we have a lot of roads to maintain. So 400,000 sounds like a lot, but when you stretch it over 34,000 centerline miles, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it kind of puts it in perspective. Um, and typically, statewide, we spend about fifteen million dollars a year on pothole repair uh, and it looks like we're trending higher this year just because we had such a rough winter we had two major blizzards one in the northwest one in st louis and all those freeze thaw cycles just you know wreck havoc on your pavement and that's something that we start to notice about this time of year is the potholes and the cracks yeah. and things like that and it can just be a bit of a nuisance for drivers how many crews are dedicated to fixing those potholes across the state well, across the state, it's about 300 crews. Here in southwest Missouri, we're about 30 crews. We have 28 maintenance buildings in our part of the state. And we cover an area of 21 counties from essentially, you go from the Arkansas state line all the way up to Butler and draw a line over to Warsaw. That's our area. And then back down to Springfield. So it's a, a large area. Yes. And so, yeah, we have about 30 crews in the southwest district that are dedicated to pothole repair among other things they also if you think of the road from the center line out we do striping we do signing we do mowing in addition to patching we do deck repair we also do uh, trash pickup uh, brush control so there's a whole uh, th list of things that we do but right now yeah pothole repair is hot and heavy how are the potholes looking in southwest missouri have many been reported there have and the procedure on that is folks usually just call in and they give us the location and everything um, i can't give you an exact number but i can tell you we've put about eight thousand tons of mix down since november just in the southwest district um, that's a fair amount uh, we've spent about eight hundred and twenty thousand dollars in our 21 county region and that's above last year's amount um, we're on track to spend about 1.5 million in the southwest district by the end of April. And you mentioned some of this goes back through November. Can you talk about the patchwork versus long-term repairs? Because the weather conditions also play, in a, play a role in how you all fix these potholes. Right. Our motto is safety, quality, uh, productivity. So if you have safety and quality, the productivity will come. Uh, so by safety, we mean a good, clean work zone that's intuitive to the driver so that when they drive through it, it makes sense. It's safe not only for them, but for our folks. And then in terms of quality, the, the general procedure for a pothole repair is just essentially making sure the hole is good and clean and dry. We tack the hole with oil, spread the mix. We leave it a little high so that when it's compacted, it's a nice smooth ride, and then we seal over it and blot it. So um, yeah, we want every repair to be quality so we're not back fixing the same hole twice. You mentioned safety as well. Obviously, these can be pesky for drivers, but at the same time, they, they can be dangerous. Oh, sure. And, you know, the best advice I can give drivers is, you know, pay attention to the road. That sounds simple, but with all the technology we have these mm -hmm. days, it's so easy to get distracted and sidetracked. And if you're following the next car too closely, you may not have a re enough reaction time to miss that pothole. And so another thing you can do is just make sure your tires are properly inflated. If, they're, if there's not enough air in them, you could bend the rim. And if it's too much air, you can cause damage as well. So um, yeah, those things help. And you know, if you get to a safe location, you can just pull over and call us. So. And how do you report it? Oh, it's easy. We have a one triple eight ask MoDOT number. It's toll free. You'll get a live person, which these days is a rare thing. <laughs> yeah. And we're pretty proud of that. Um, you know how frustrating it can be to get a, a machine to talk to. So yeah, you'll get a live person. You just give them the county and the location. So you could say, 
Oh, I hit a pothole. It's in Greene County on I-44 eastbound at the 70.2, and we'll find it. If you go online, you can just Google MoDOT pothole. There's a real simple form. The only required fields are the county and location. You oh. don't have to put your name or number. So. Easy enough then. Yeah. And one more quick question I had before uh, we let you go here is all this flooding that we are experiencing in our state right now. Yeah. Obviously it's still going on, but how is that going to impact the roads in like the St. Joseph area? Right, so nor north of St. Joe right now, I-29 is still closed. I talked to my counterparts recently and they don't anticipate opening it anytime real soon. And even if we did here in Missouri, I-29 is still closed in Iowa, almost all the way to Council Bluffs. The detour route is to take I-35 north from Kansas City to I-80 and back west. Uh, we've been assisting the Department of Natural Resources in picking up uh, floating fuel tanks, uh, fertilizer tanks that belong to farmers, trying to get those back to their owners. and also working with them on any spillage concerns. Um, the big thing coming is just the debris cleanup, uh, the sediment, yeah. and then before we open the, the roads, we have to check the bridges for scour and undermining and uh, check the roads really good too before we open up things. So, so still a long process ahead it in is. that area of our yeah. state. All right, Darren Hamelick, the Southwest District Maintenance Engineer for MoDOT, thanks so much for being here with us tonight. Thank you. We'll be right back.